Hey, welcome to EPN. My name is Victor Lucas, and we bring you the latest in everything cool every single day. This one is going out to our friend Jerry Campbell Greer, who had this great comment. He says, you guys are a pretty great group of people. Thank you so much. This rundown is dedicated to you. If you thought The Last Guardian wasn't going to be delayed again, you thought wrong. Sony has officially delayed the long-awaited game yet again. It was set to land on October 25th, but will now arrive six weeks later on December 6th. This isn't as big a delay as before, but it's still an annoyance given how long we've already been waiting. The Last Guardian has been in development since 2007 and was first unveiled at E3 way back in 2009 as a PS3 title. A game that's been in development this long obviously has very high expectations, so high that they might be impossible to meet. The reason for the delay is also a bit troubling. Writing on the official PlayStation blog, Sony Computer Entertainment President Shuhei Yoshida says that they've encountered more bugs than anticipated in the final stages of development and they need the extra time to work out the issues. Hopefully they'll be able to do it in six weeks. What do you think? Does this latest delay and all the others make you nervous about The Last Guardian? Let us know in the comments below. There's now a good reason to be excited about the remake of Alien Nation. Deadline reports that the remake of the 1988 science fiction film is said to be written and directed by Jeff Nichols, the director behind smaller drama films like Mud, Take Shelter, and Midnight Special. The original Alien Nation put a unique spin on the 80s buddy cop genre. It takes place a few years after alien refugees have landed on Earth and have been integrated into society, with the story focusing on a prejudiced cop who's reluctantly partnered with one of them. The remake has been in development for several years and will likely be the biggest project yet for Jeff Nichols. It might seem like a big change of pace for the filmmaker, but when you think about it, the original Alienation dealt with serious themes like racism and xenophobia, all of which Nichols has explored in his previous films. Nichols is also a very well-respected filmmaker who puts an emphasis on slower pacing and character development, which could help distinguish his Alienation remake from other big-budget science fiction movies. We can't wait to see it, and we'll let you know when more details come in. Pokemon Go is switching over to the buddy system. Niantic Labs has begun rolling out the latest update for the hit augmented reality game. It's expected to land later today for iOS and Android devices and will bring a new feature called Buddy Pokemon, where players can set a specific Pokemon as their buddy and then earn special rewards for them. For example, Niantic says that walking with your buddy Pokemon equipped will earn you candy for that Pokemon, which is what you need if you want to level them up. This essentially gives you a new and faster way to level up your Pokemon characters, which in turn will make them a lot more effective in battle. The new update will also include minor bug fixes and also make the game compatible with the Pokemon Go Plus wristband, which hits stores this Friday. Niantic is working on future updates for Pokemon Go, and they also recently announced that a more streamlined version of the game is coming to the Apple Watch before the end of the year. <coughs> One of the people behind World of Warcraft is crafting something new. Rob Pardo, the lead designer of World of Warcraft, has formed a new game development company called Bonfire Studios. They haven't announced what new games they might be working on, but interestingly, the studio has a large financial backing from Riot Games, the studio behind the hit MOBA game League of Legends. The makers of League of Legends joining forces with the designer behind World of Warcraft is a tantalizing proposition to say the least. We'll be excited to play anything from Rob Pardo. He served as the chief creative officer of Blizzard Entertainment before leaving the studio in 2014. And along with World of Warcraft, he worked on the other big Blizzard franchises, StarCraft and Diablo. We can't wait to see what his new studio has in the works. You probably won't be seeing more comic books from Alan Moore. The Eisner Award-winning writer behind comics like Watchmen, V for Vendetta, Batman the Killing Joke, and countless others has announced that he's retiring from comic books. Speaking at a recent press conference, the 62-year-old writer says that he only has about 250 pages of comics left in him, and he plans to use them to finish his current projects like The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. He still plans to continue writing traditional non-graphic novels, but he says that he's done all that he can with comics, adding that if he doesn't get out now, he'll just end up retreading the same ground. This isn't the first time Alan Moore has publicly stated that he's retiring, so we'll just have to wait and see if he follows through. Prepare for a very unusual Titanfall. Respawn Entertainment is joining forces with Nexon to create a digital card battle game called Titanfall Frontline. 
Yup, there's another digital card battle game on the way. The thing that sets this one apart is that the combat is not turn-based like most digital card battle games. Instead, the battles unfold in real time. They haven't released any gameplay footage yet, so it's unclear exactly how this will work, but it seems like an interesting idea if they can pull it off. We'll have more on the game as it develops. More and more publishers are making their own digital card battle games, thanks to the huge financial success of titles like Hearthstone. Titanfall Frontline will hit iOS and Android devices this fall. Around the same time, Titanfall 2 hits consoles and the PC on October 28th. And that does it for us today. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll be back again tomorrow with a brand new rundown. Hey, thanks for checking out that video on our EPN channel. It's just one small part of the things that we make around here. So if you liked it, don't forget to check out some of our other vids and hit that subscribe button.